Hey there, quick note before we dive in, what you're watching right now is a lesson from one of my courses that I've decided to release completely for free here on YouTube so you don't have to pay a dime. So instead of asking you to buy my course, if you want to show your appreciation, here's a couple of things that you can do. Like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel. These small actions tell YouTube to share my content with more people, which is a huge help. Also, feel free to check out my recommended equipment links in the description below. If you do purchase equipment from these links, I do get a small commission at no extra cost to you whatsoever. Or if you want to, you can leave me a super thanks or even just hit play on one of my playlists. I know it sounds silly, but if you just hit play on one of my playlists and let it play in the background, even if you're not paying attention, it again, it tells YouTube, hey, people are watching these videos. I'm going to push it out to more people. So even if you just want to do that, I would love it. I would appreciate it so much. And then lastly, if you're looking for more personalized help, I do offer private coaching that you can find in the description of this video. Either way, I really appreciate you whether you choose to do one of these things or not just by simply watching this video it means a lot to me thank you so much now let's get to the lesson all right let's talk about denoising your audio now first things first the best way to use a denoiser is not using one I know, I know some of us are in situations where we have no other option, which is why some of you are watching this video. I'm just saying the goal is to set up your home studio so that you don't have any noise issues causing problems in your audio. But again, for some of us, that may not be possible at this very moment, but you should definitely be trying to get to that point whenever possible. Now, technology is progressing at an alarming rate and these denoisers are getting really, really good, almost to the point to where you can't even tell someone's using them on some audio in some cases. However, it can still cause issues with your audio if the noise you're dealing with is too loud or it's a sporadic noise like police sirens or a dog barking or something like that. Denoisers work best on the noises that are consistent. So, for example, the noise that we're dealing with today is some white noise or hiss. The hiss stays at the same volume throughout and doesn't change tone or pitch, so the denoiser won't have a hard time detecting or working on getting this noise out of the audio, whereas if the noise was constantly changing in volume or pitch, the denoiser would have a tough time getting it out of the audio without negatively affecting the voice, which is, you know, obviously what we don't want. All right, now in this video, I'll be using a denoiser from Isotope, link in the description of this video, as well as a free denoise tool that comes with Audacity. Um, so we'll start with the free one that comes with Audacity, okay? So let's, let's go uh, and let's get into that right now. Now the audio that you're seeing here, and let me go ahead and bring it back to its original uh, state. This is uh, the audio that we're going to be dealing with today. And just so that you can get an idea of what we're dealing with, make sure you're wearing headphones so that you can really hear this. Um, this noise isn't that loud, but this is kind of a good indicator of where you want the noise to be. Like you don't want the noise to be too loud, like I said. So any noises that you're dealing with that are louder than this, it's probably going to cause you some issues. It's probably going to be kind of a pain in your butt and you're definitely want to going to want to get it fixed. So this is a good indicator of where you want that noise to be. No louder than this, if you can help it. I know some of us can't, but let's go ahead and take a listen to this audio. Like I said, make sure you're wearing headphones to really hear this. One of life's greatest pleasures is a home-cooked meal. At HelloFresh, we're making it even easier to cook great meals from scratch. We've done all the hard work for you. Now you've got the fun part. Order online at HelloFresh.com today. Now you can really hear that hiss in there, especially if you're wearing headphones or you're listening on really good monitors. So, okay, first things first, let's use the free denoise tool that comes with Audacity. You're going to go... Um, uh, well, actually, first things first, you're going to highlight just this noise. There's a reason that I recorded just the noise at the at the end of the take. You want to record about 10 seconds, if possible, of the noise you're dealing with, if that's something you can do. Because now we're going to go to Effect, and then we're going to go to Noise Removal and Repair, and we're going to go down to Noise Reduction right here. Now that we have highlighted just the noise, we're going to click Get Noise Profile because you're literally telling this plugin, hey, this is the noise that I want you to get rid of. So now that I've highlighted the noise, I'm going to say Get Noise Profile. Now I'm going to highlight all of my audio because I wanted to get rid of the noise um, throughout my entire bit of audio, not just the, the part where it's just the noise. So I'm going to do the same thing now. I'm just going to go to Effect, Noise Removal and Repair, 
then noise reduction. But instead of click get noise profile this time, I'm just going to click OK. Now, let me just say this noise reduction slider right here, you can make this more aggressive um, if you want to, but you need to listen to your audio. You need to listen to the voice and make sure that if you're good, if you're getting too aggressive, that the voice doesn't sound like it's starting to um, get muffled and doesn't sound like it's underwater or just get really warbly and weird. If your voice is starting to get negatively affected, then you need to reduce this slider. Now, by default, it's set to six and it does a pretty good job. But like I said, you could increase this. Now, because I'm dealing with such a consistent noise, you know, it's not, like I said, it's not going up and down in volume and it's not going up and down in pitch. Because of this, I could probably get away with sliding this up to maybe 10. I'm just going to give this a try and see if it's too heavy, too heavy handed or if it works. So I'm going to click OK. OK, and it, it didn't get rid of all the noise. So if I play this, order online at HelloFresh.com today. The noise is definitely reduced, but it's still there. So let's undo what we've done and let's try this again. And maybe let's just increase it and, and see what happens. So effect, noise removal and repair, noise reduction. And you know what, man? Let's go crazy here for this uh, for this tutorial. Let's go to 20 and let's just see what happens, okay? Um, or actually, I'm sorry. Let's do that to 20, but then we need to get noise profile. And now, now let's see what it does. Effect, and then noise reduction. Okay. And then, wow, okay, so it's gone. But let's see how the audio sounds. Let's see if it negatively affected the voice. One of life's greatest pleasures is a home-cooked meal. At HelloFresh, we're making it even easier to cook great meals from scratch. Now, I have trained ears. I've been doing this for years and years and years. I could hear the voice being affected. A lot of you out there might even be able to have heard it yourself. I heard the voice in the very beginning. One of life's greatest pleasures is... It sounded a little bit underwater, a little bit muffled. So in this case, I would want to bring this back down. I would want to go, okay, let's just get that noise. Let's do this again. But instead of 20... Let's, you know, let's try 15. Let's try 15. So I'm going to say get noise profile at 15. I'm going to then go to effect. And we're going to do it again. I'm going to click OK. OK, now let's see what the, the audio sounds like here. One of life's greatest pleasures is a home-cooked meal. At HelloFresh, we're... That was a little bit better. So you see what I'm doing here, and, and this is what you're going to have to do when it comes to noise uh, reduction. You don't want it to negatively affect your voice. And you know what? If you have to leave a little bit of noise in your audio to help preserve the quality of the voice, that's okay. That's okay. You know, I mean, you got to do what you got to do in your current situation. And of course, you should be moving forward to a situation where you don't have to worry about denoising at all. But this tutorial is for you if you need to worry about something like this, okay? Well, now let's move on and let's go to the Isotope products, okay? So I'm going to go to Effect. I'm going to go down to Isotope. And then I'm going to go and find RX10. Here it is, RX10 Voice Denoise. Okay. And now I am going to uh, uh, do basically the same thing. Now, by default, this is set to 12 when you first open this up. Okay. I've used it a few times, so it wasn't. But by default, it's set to 12. But you pretty much want to do the same thing here that you did before with the um, the amount of reduction you're you're taking away or giving to this audio. Now, instead of me highlighting this. I'm going to leave it in adaptive mode. That's just this little check right here, adaptive mode, which means this plugin is going to guess at what the noise is and what the voice is, and it's going to do its best to get rid of the noise and preserve the voice. Okay, so let's just let's just take this down and let's just do a little guess. Let, let's do seven where it was when I first opened it. Let's just do this and see what happens. Okay, so it wasn't enough. I can still see the noise there, but let's try it. We've got the fun part. Order online at HelloFresh.com today. Yeah, I can still hear the hiss, okay? So let's undo that, and let's do it again. Effect, go down to Isotope, RX10 Voice Denoise, and let's go a little more aggressive. Let's let's go a little overboard. Well, let's just go to the default 12 and see how it does with this uh, being that this isn't a crazy loud or pitchy noise, okay? So apply. Okay, it didn't look like it did that much better, actually. Here we go. One of life's greatest pleasures is a home-cooked meal. And the voice sounded a little weird at the at the very top there. So, you know what? Even though it negatively affected the voice just for sake of this tutorial, let me go a little hard. Let me just go crazy here with this one and see what we can do. Uh, no, 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 no. Here we go. All right, and let me just let me go all the way to the top with this. 
Okay, I don't know. It's not it's not doing a whole lot here, but you get look, you get the idea. This is how you're wanting to kind of troubleshoot a a, a noise issue, right? And and again, you're not wanting to go so aggressive that it, it negatively affects the voice. Let's see how bad it affected the voice or if it's even that bad. One of life's greatest pleasures is a home cooked meal. At HelloFresh, we're making it even just at the very beginning, which can happen. That's something that can happen with denoisers. At the very beginning of the audio, the denoisers still trying to figure things out, which it really should do, uh, you know, in the before it even does it. But it happens. It happens. So at the very end of the day, your goal is to try to not have any noises happening in your audio, whether it's I need to turn the AC off before I record or I need to just not record because there's mowers outside. Whatever it is, just make sure that you take care of it on the front end if it's even possible for you in your situation. And if it's not, you know, you can try and use a denoiser and see see what you can do to get rid of it. Um, and if it's just ruining your audio, then, you know, you probably just need to re-record at a time that, you know, doesn't have that noise going on, if that's possible. Anyway, that's how you use a denoiser.